Hi, I'm Ben Canning. This micro lecture is on velocity time graphs of acceleration. We're going to be looking at what does acceleration look like when we are on a graph of velocity versus time. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. Before we get started with looking at changes in velocity on a velocity time graph or acceleration, we're going to start with what does constant velocity look like? We've talked about it before, but it doesn't hurt to refresh. So constant velocity, aka no acceleration, uh, the first one we'll look at is going to be what if we had a constant velocity of zero, so something not moving. Well, we would expect then that the velocity at time of one would be zero, and at time of two would still be zero, and at a time of three would still be zero, and really just for all times would just be zero. And so it would look something like this. So then you can imagine something that had a velocity that wasn't zero, so positive one, uh, maybe it was always positive five, we would expect that at each time it would still stay at positive five each time. So a positive velocity that is constant would look like this. And then for negative velocity, that would just mean the opposite direction. So if we called positive to the right, negative would just be to the left. If we called positive going up, the negative would just be going down. Um, and we can flip that. It just depends on the situation, and you define it each time. So negative velocity, similar to the positive, would just be at a negative value, where literally the y value, or velocity, stays constant. It does not change. So now that we've looked at constant velocities, positive, negative, and zero, so not moving, we can think about what would it look like for something to accelerate. Well, instead of the velocity staying at the same value, we'd expect to see the velocity increase, or maybe for the velocity to decrease, which brings us to acceleration. So positive acceleration would be a graph that has a positive slope. And that's because the slope on a velocity versus time graph gives us the change in velocity, that's the rise, over the change in time, that's the run, which basically is the definition of acceleration. So positive accelerations, that just means to whatever the direction positive is, uh, are always going to be upward slopes. Negative accelerations then would be downward slopes. Uh, and some other ways that might look like would be like these, where it doesn't always have to be in the positive part of the graph. It just needs to be a positive or upward slanting slope for a positive acceleration. And a negative acceleration would be a downwards slanting slope. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, the slope of a velocity time graph is acceleration. So if we think of slope as rise over run, then if we have this velocity versus time graph right here, we can calculate the rise, which would basically be the change in velocity, and the run, which would essentially be the uh, change in time, um, and that gives us our slope, which is the acceleration. So here, in this case, the acceleration, again, equals the slope. Rise would be change in velocity. Change in velocity is 4, or sorry, 16 uh, in this case. The run would be the change in time. It took four seconds for the velocity to go up to 16, which gives us an acceleration of four meters per second squared. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.